So it just pops onto to central pier and you can see it's like a ghost town around the, uh, the pier today. There's no soul on there and this normally is buzzing with life. And welcome back to a brand new video. So today it's Monday and first of all you see the tower is just covered in like fluffy white clouds and snow is predicted today and tomorrow. It's a 50% chance and a 60% chance early hours in the morning. So the question is, will Blackpool get some snow? look back you know at the at the tower but you can see just a, a couple of people walking along certainly a, certainly a quiet one so far so this is the uh, the view just uh, to the right of the central pier and you see the uh, south pier right in the distance Look how calm the uh, the sea is today compared to yesterday. It's just like glass, very very still. Have you ever seen Central Pier? You know, it's so quiet. It's uh, it's really remarkable. It's like you know the pier's closed now. I'm the only one really on the pier. And you see, let's have a quick look to the, uh, the left. There we go, and you see work is being carried out uh, on the piers, all the wood. So there's a, there's a hell of a lot of work on these uh, piers. What well, gets carried out, out of season, ready for the, uh, the next season. But yeah, some of these piers are, I mean, the three, all three piers are wonderful. You know, they're spectacular views. Let's just pan the camera around to the, uh, to the right. I mean, just look at this view. How stunning is that? That is uh, absolutely remarkable. So as I'm walking towards the end of Central Pier, I just want you to make sure everybody's prepared for the cold snap which is coming in. Uh, I mean, my advice is, is, is people are struggling with money these days. And you know the price of gas and electric so make sure you know you got a nice warm blanket you know a thick woolly jumper to put on make sure you get some of that soup as well um, that will keep you warm so yeah we'll have a look towards the uh, the end of the pier so it's a, a little bit of advice for everybody so i've just noticed you know at the uh, the end of central pier you can see all these uh, lovely plaques in memory of uh, the you know the mother and father the the kids the grandparents and what a, what a lovely uh, thing you know central pier like you do you know because Blackpool is such a such a special place for everybody and you can see you know this goes all the way right at the bottom of the pier all those plaques just remembering that special person in the, in the life and now we're right at the uh, right at the end of uh, central pier and you can see the uh, the tower once again spectacular and 
just to the uh, left. It just looks like you can swim over to the North Pier from here. And there is the, uh, the North Pier. And uh, like I said, how wonderful does that look? I mean, at night time, it's certainly something, all the, all the lights, uh, it certainly will look amazing. So I've just come off the, uh, the Central Pier and uh, it's gonna have a, a little stroll along the, uh, the promenade. But you can see uh, all the, uh, the amusements and the little uh, shops. A lot of these now are uh, closed up for the season, uh, only open the weekends. And you can certainly feel like it's uh, an end of a season in Blackpool. But you know, nevertheless, you know, despite the weather, you know, despite it's, you know, it's November, December, January time, you know, Blackpool always hosts, you know, amazing events or festivals, like, you know, like the, uh, the Christmas by the sea. There's not a lot of places. I was looking on a, a group the other day, and it was Torquay, where, uh, you know, I spent many a year. And, you know, they don't even have markets. They don't even celebrate Christmas in a way like Blackpool do. So, you know, it's, it's truly remarkable, you know, all the, uh, all the effort. Uh, Blackpool does put in to attract you know visitors and for the residents alike so yeah we'll just head on a little bit more towards the Christmas market and just see what it's like um, during the daytime so we're just gonna pop uh, pop near the sea the tide is out but just look at all this all the uh, the waste wood and the twigs and the branches washed up so it must have been a very very high tide last night and you can see there's an awful lot those eyes all being sort of gathered up possibly in one place but look at that that's certainly a lot of wood and that's all come out of like rivers and things what's been washed into the sea and just look at the uh, the amount uh what is there so it must have been a very very high tide i think it was like 9.9.6 9.7 last night with the tide so yeah it's gonna have a a bit of a walk near the uh, sea well it's not too close to the sea because the uh, the tide looks like it's uh it's been it's been in it's uh, gone out but there is a bit of sea further up but yeah it's always that uh, wonderful to have a a bit of a stroll and my passion is uh when it's rough there's nothing more uh, spectacular than watching the waves crashing against the shore i know a lot of people do enjoy that it's so relaxing and you know this listening to it you know, you could record it for an hour and just sort of fall asleep to uh, to the waves. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll just have a, a bit of a walk, like I said, along the uh, along the sea line, and then we'll pop back up to the uh, the Christmas market. And hopefully, you know, it might, it might be a little bit quiet, so we can have a look at some of the stalls in a little bit more detail. But yeah, this is the Blackpool Promenade, uh, and it's, 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 that's all that's all half past three. Uh, about three, half past three um, on a Monday. So we're just near the uh, R and L I, and we're just going to head towards the uh, the Star Flyer. Um, I know Stephen uh, walk on the wild side was itching to get on this, and uh, he couldn't wait to get on him. Unfortunately, it wasn't uh, working at the time. I'm only joking, Stephen. If you do watch this video. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's spinning round. So we'll have a, a close look at that, and that's certainly high. And you can see there they're getting the uh, getting their snapshots of the uh, of the Blackpool Tower. And like I said, there's so many people do get uh, the pictures taken um, near the tower. It's such a remarkable place, and it makes so many uh, so many memories people have. And you can see the uh, the staff line now whipping up there look at that spinning around and that's certainly a certainly a high one there he goes around and around that'll certainly make you you're dizzy you got to have a, a head for heights for that one that's not for me and look at that right next to the uh, the tower it looks the same height from this uh this distance it's a bit of a bit of an illusion but yeah certainly uh certainly high so we've arrived at the uh, the Christmas by the sea, and it's wonderful to see all these uh, magical lights. It just brings sort of the uh, this look, uh, Christmas spirit, shall I say, into Blackpool. And like I said, we've got the uh, the sweets and all sorts. So many stalls to name. 
and uh, it's just amazing. Like I said, all the uh, all the wonderful lights. It just brings uh, Christmas out a little little closer. So you got the uh, the old uh, windmill selling all the uh, luxurious foods. Wonderful. So it's uh, like I said, you got plenty of rides. And these are between like sort of four and six pounds. Uh, the ride, so it's not too bad. You know, you can come away to a twenty pound for the family, have a couple of rides, and something to eat. Yeah, you can just see uh, all these stalls, one after another, selling all sorts. And uh, that's a Yorkshire pudding wraps. That one, we've got all sorts. Like I said, uh, a great little, uh, great little place for Christmas. Like I said, you know, all the uh, all the wonderful rides, little gifts all sorts so i'll move a uh, move i'm not going to spend too much here time on this one because we have a uh, we have a uh, film this one before but like i said you know all the uh, all the stalls you've got the uh, the helter skelter there that's another good one and uh like i said it just makes it nice and christmasy and there's not a lot of towns and cities you know have such a, a lovely display uh, you know what they where they put it on for the uh, the locals and uh, the tourists so it's really really great see the uh, these are one of my favorite the old lampposts just like a Victorian time look at that they're certainly something uh, guarded by the uh, the couple of Santas there we go uh, looks a looks a fantastic little place to uh, grab something to eat or a bit of a, a hot toddy. That's the uh, the super bob. Look at that, silly whipping round. Jeez, I don't think you want anything to eat before you go on that one. Look how fast that one's going. So we'll move on a little bit further. Certainly a loud on that as well. Yeah, uh, so many wonderful little stalls. Look at that. The smell of the food. He's uh, amazing. He really makes you, uh, really makes you peckish. Like I said, there's just ride after ride, stall after stall. So if you haven't been down to this one, and you, uh, you're nearby Blackpool, around the area, certainly come to have a, a bit of a look at this one. So if the, uh, the noise and the, uh, the rides and the entertainment's not really for you, then you can certainly uh, enjoy the views with the uh, the North Pier. Have a, have a stroll along there and just look at the uh, remarkable views out to sea. And like I said, that's uh, certainly uh, a lovely pier, that one. And the views you get, you know, when you look out, there's a little, uh, little bar right there, the Bloom Bar it's called, right at the, uh, right at the end. And that's certainly a nice one. Like I said, if the, uh, the lights aren't for you and you just fancy that stroll, a bit of peace and quiet, then you can uh, visit the, uh, the lovely North Pier. So we're just gonna have a quick brief walk through town, but first of all, look at the uh, the Viva. And we'll cross over, look how lovely that one is decorated. And like I said, it's, a, it's not long as I was it six weeks, something like that till Christmas? Not even that, and the, how spectacular does that one look with the uh, the amazing Christmas trees, the baubles, and that's certainly a, a festive one. Look at that. So I was gonna have a a very quick walk through uh, the town centre. You see how uh, lovely the uh, decorated, even even the town centre. The lovely lights you see above shining away. Look at that. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's a magical place, Blackpool at Christmas time. There's plenty of lights, which I think personally make it. You can see in you know, all the uh, the shops, you got a hole in the uh, hole in the wand. You see the decorated there. Uh, on the, uh, on the wall, it's fantastic. It's like I said, you know, a lot of the shops now are decorating away, and it's certainly a, a place to be um, in Blackpool for Christmas time. But you know, the town is actually quite quiet. I suppose it's, I it's only about sort of half past three, so it is quite quiet. But later on, it'll be uh, hopefully buzzing with life. And there's the, uh, the Christmas market once again straight down.
so I hope you enjoyed that bit of a, a walk around. Like I say, it certainly feels like snow. It's certainly cold enough, but it's not too cold. So it's like just that right temperature and the, uh, the sky is full of those white clouds. So make sure, you know, you wrap up warm, you get that extra blanket, that woolly jumper and take care of yourselves. And if you did like this video and others we do, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It means an awful lot. Hit the like button, any comments, I will try to get back to you. And until next time, take care of yourselves, and it is a bye from me. Bye-bye.